Welcome, curious minds. Today, we're exploring something uh, pretty radical, I think. Can education really be transformed, not just with, you know, better books or videos, but by adding the thrill of competition, mm. real cash rewards, and even a sense of social purpose? That's the core idea we're looking at. Yeah, we're doing a deep dive into a platform called Lillian Black. It's trying to mix tough academics, gaming, and social impact, specifically in South Africa. Hmm. So if you've ever felt that learning lacked a certain spark or maybe wished your hard work had a more, I guess, tangible effect in the world, then this conversation might hold some really interesting ideas for you. Absolutely. Lillian Black positions itself as a physical science support platform. Um, aimed squarely at grade 12 students there. The mission is really empowerment through a pretty challenging curriculum. Right. But what makes it stand out, as you said, are these unusual incentives and, well, a very unique structure. It's quite the experiment in education. Okay, so let's unpack this. We'll get into the philosophy behind their Black Lily symbol, break down this intense gamified approach they have for physical science, and see how doing well academically actually connects to something bigger. Let's dig in. Sounds good. So let's start with that slogan they use. Where shadows nurture brilliance, science unveils potential. It's striking, isn't it? It is. And it points straight to the symbol, the black lily often seen as representing resilience, maybe beauty coming out of tough times. It's a powerful image. It really is. And Lillian Black leans into this idea what they call the grim yet compelling narrative. Mm -hmm. They talk about brilliant scientists, you know, throughout history who faced real hardship, isolation even. Mm -hmm. So the platform's identity is kind of a nod to those people, those who push through darkness. They suggest that often the biggest breakthroughs come from the deepest struggles. Interesting. And this isn't just branding. It actually shapes their mission. They aim to challenge students to mm -hmm. push them, maybe transform them through that difficulty. So the idea is that maybe embracing that discomfort in a structured way, of course, could actually be key for deep understanding, especially in something like science. That seems to be the thinking, yes. That intellectual struggle is part of mastering complex fields. It makes you think, though. A lot of learning now focuses on safe spaces, but this sounds, well, different. How might that idea of enduring hardship for brilliance sit with a student who really wants to understand, not just memorize facts, what does leaning into that struggle actually look like for them? That's a key question. So this philosophy, nurturing brilliance through shadows, it sounds pretty intense. How does that actually uh, play out day to day on the platform? How do students experience it? Because they call themselves the ultimate battleground for South Africa's elite physical science students. That sounds like only the most driven will survive. It definitely emphasizes competition. That's central mm -hmm. to their engage, excel, elevate model. So students see a live points counter right on their dashboard. It tracks their earnings in real time. But here's the really unique part. These points can actually be converted into cash. Wow, actual cash. Yes, real rand. It gives academic effort a very direct, tangible value. Plus, you get these bonus alerts, you know, for special multipliers or maybe short campaigns, which just dials up the engagement. That direct cash link is... Well, it's bold. <laughs> it makes you wonder about motivation, doesn't it? Intrinsic versus extrinsic. Mm. Are there downsides to sort of monetizing learning like that? Or does it just provide really powerful, immediate feedback? It's definitely a point of discussion in educational tech right now. And yeah, it's a powerful feedback loop. But beyond just points, they have these student versus student duels. Duels, like head to head. Exactly. Time challenges, a bit like quiz up, if you remember that. You decide how many points you want to risk, you challenge someone, and if they accept, you battle it out. Win or lose the points. High stakes, fast paced. Okay, so it's really leaning into that competitive gaming angle. Very much so. And to keep track of everything, there are two leaderboards. You've got the monthly leaderboard that resets each month, keeps the competition fresh, and has monthly cash prizes. Right. And then there's the Hall of Fame. That one tracks all-time academic achievement. It's about showcasing the absolute top students in the country over the long haul. It's fascinating how they've woven game theory right into the learning fabric. But, you know, while competition is clearly a big driver, real learning, deep understanding, often needs individual focus too. How does Lillian Black balance that high pressure environment with, say, personalized support, helping students grow individually? That's a fair point, and they address it with their skill insights feature. It uses adaptive learning ideas, basically. Okay, how does that work? Well. It automatically figures out where a student is strong scientifically and, just as importantly, 
pinpoints the areas they need to work on. It generates a clear kind of actionable game plan based on your performance. So it tells you what to focus on. Exactly. And it gets really specific. Every quiz question is tagged within a topic hierarchy. Think like mechanics, then momentum and impulse, then conservation of momentum, right yeah. down to the specific theory part. So your performance is tracked at a very granular level. Ah, I see. And this feeds into something they call the spider lily graph. You can picture it like a dynamic web or maybe a heat map. It visually highlights your strength in different areas and, crucially, shows where you're weaker. And it changes in real time as you practice and improve. That visual element sounds incredibly useful, like seeing your knowledge landscape. Precisely. It really empowers students, lets them see exactly where they stand and where to target their efforts. They can take control of their prep. So it's not just you got this wrong, but here's the specific area within this topic you need to revisit. That makes sense. And this connects to their pathways to proficiency. Yes, that's the structured journey part. It guides students through the whole grade 12 physical science curriculum. Each lesson, each quiz is a step forward. And there are checkpoints you only unlock the next stage when you've shown you've actually mastered the current one. So you can't just skip ahead without understanding. No, mastery gates progress. And then to really test that mastery under pressure, they have the Black Lily challenges. Okay, what are those? These are bi-weekly, so every two weeks, high stakes, timed questions, they're exclusive, proper exam level difficulty, designed to push critical thinking and speed. Nailing these gives a big boost to your score and your rank on the leaderboards. So a real test of applying the knowledge quickly. Okay, yeah. this blend of um, challenging philosophy, the gamified learning, the personalized tracking, if someone listening thinks this sounds like a good fit for them or maybe for a student they know, how do they actually get involved? What are the options? Right, the access. Their main offering is a monthly subscription. It's R399 per month. And that gives you everything we've talked about. Full access to all the grade 12 physics and chemistry content, the real-time point system with the cash conversion, the pathways, the duels, the challenges, both leaderboards, ongoing content updates, and, of course, the chance to win those monthly cash prizes. Got it. So that's the core package. What if someone needs more focused help, maybe prepping for exams? For that, they have exam workshops at R499 per workshop. These are weekly live online sessions. An expert walks through entire past physics and chemistry exam papers. Live, so you can ask questions. Yes, real-time Q&A. Plus, they cover strategic exam techniques like time management and how to approach different question types. And you get bonus leaderboard points just for attending. It's kind of like a super focused guided study group. Okay, that sounds valuable near exam time. And what about very specific problems? Like if you're just stuck on one tough concept. That's where the focus boost sessions come in. These are R699 per session. It's a one hour, one-on-one -on -one session with an expert. Ah, personalized tutoring. Exactly. You pick the specific topic when you book. They prepare customized materials, you get immediate feedback, and scheduling is flexible. Ideal for really drilling down on those tricky bits right before a test or exam. Makes sense. And is there a way to try it out before committing? Yes, absolutely. They offer a seven-day free trial. It gives you full access, lessons, challenges, quizzes, duels, even the live points tracking. No obligation. So you can really see if it works for you. Mm-hmm. And there's also a pre-registration thing where you can get 500 bonus points just for signing up early. One important note, they verify that users are actual grade 12 students, so it's a focused community. And for privacy, only nicknames appear on the leaderboards, not full names. Good to know. Now, we mentioned earlier that there's more to Lillian Black than just the academics and the competition. There's this social impact piece, which feels quite unique. This is where mastery meets purpose. Yes, and this part is, I think, really powerful. They have this principle, and I'm quoting here, if you're not improving the lives around you, you're wasting your time. Wow, strong words. It is, and they back it up. A portion of every single R399 monthly subscription goes directly to supporting underserved schools in South Africa. How does that support work? What does it provide? It provides tangible resources, things like school clothing, books, stationery, even helping with learning infrastructure needs. Things that can make a real difference to students in those schools. So your own effort on the platform directly helps someone else. Exactly. The message is incredibly clear. Every step you take toward your own excellence helps lift someone else up. It connects your personal academic journey to a wider community benefit. And that loops right back to their tagline, Lillian Black, where mastery meets purpose.
It frames science not just as study, but as you said, a challenge, a game, a mission, and a reward, all interconnected. Yeah. It's a really profound way to link achieving something for yourself with contributing to something bigger. It really is. This integration of social responsibility, I think it elevates the whole experience. Yeah. It adds this layer of meaning, doesn't it? Every point earned, every concept finally understood, it feels intrinsically more valuable because it's tied to helping others. So wrapping up this deep dive, Lillian Black really stands out, I think, as a fascinating model for how education could be reimagined. It's this blend of, well, deep learning, serious competitive drive, real incentives, and this genuine social mission. Mm -hmm. It's taking a challenging curriculum, adding gamification and real rewards, but rooting it all in this philosophy of resilience and ultimately purpose. Yeah. They're not just teaching physics equations. They mm -hmm. seem to be trying to build character and community impact at the same time. And looking at this model, it really prompts a broader question, doesn't it? In what other fields, what other areas of learning could we potentially see this kind of synergy work, this mix of personal challenge, real-world incentives, and this commitment to sort of collective betterment? That's a great question. How might this kind of approach influence our more traditional ideas about what really motivates students and maybe how education itself can be delivered more effectively. Exactly. Platforms like Lillian Black, they really do make you question the status quo in education, the standard ways we think about motivation. It pushes you to consider what becomes possible when learning feels this dynamic, this purposeful. So thinking about all this, what does it mean for you and how you approach learning or maybe even teaching? It's definitely something to ponder.